G'day guys, in this video I'm going to be summarizing for you the second moment of area, which is also sometimes referred to as the area moment of inertia. Now the area moment of inertia is just a property of a shape. So let me draw some generic two-dimensional shape here, and let me draw an axis on top of it anywhere we like. So I'm going to call this the x-axis, and I'm going to call this the y-axis. Now. I should mention that the area moment of inertia formulas are defined by the following. Ix is known as the area moment of inertia about the x-axis. And it's defined to be the integral of y squared dA. I'll go into these terms shortly, but I should also mention that another definition is that Iy, which is known as the area moment of inertia about the y-axis, is defined by the following formula, the integral of x squared dA. Now let's talk about dA. dA is just a small element of area, which is a distance, which is a distance x from our axis and a distance y from our vertical axis just here. Now dA has a area equal to dx times by dy, which means that evaluating this integral, if you want to do it right, will involve using something called the double integral. Okay? Now, I should mention before I finish this video that you might be quite confused as to what the intuition behind these formulas are or where they even came from. Rest assured, these are just definitions from now, so they seem like arbitrary mathematical constructs. But we'll later prove, in further courses even, that these formulas are useful for finding out the stresses in beams that are under loading. 